Well done, Paul. Uh, you've done it. You've uh, secured your place in, in next season's uh, League One. How does it feel? Relief is the first emotion, I suppose, because as soon as that final whistle went, I was asking. I, I didn't want to know any how any scores were going or anything. I think on the bench, some of them perhaps were having a, a look. Um, and then it's like, are they re is that are they definitely done? Um, so it took a little bit of time to to get that to sink in properly, um, and then like I say an enjoyment, a sort of togetherness, going in front of the fans who were great all afternoon and have been since I've, I've returned. And like I say, I think more than anything, a big relief. But I have to say, really pleased for the chairman because he. It hasn't been easy. I think he's gone on record saying how difficult uh, I think probably the last couple of seasons have been, but uh, this one in particular. And he'll be, uh, you know, a very happy man tonight. Um, but in some ways now, you know, I feel like almost the the job starts again. So I think there was no um, hiding away from the fact I knew what I was joining in terms of we were in a relegation battle irrespective of how the table looked or anything like that, looked at results, the teams that we've got to play, fixtures ahead of us, we were definitely in a relegation battle. So credit to the players, the staff, everyone involved that we've mm -hmm. we've managed to get over the line. How challenging have these few months actually been for you since since you came back to the club? Very, I've enjoyed it because you're back in work and you know it wasn't the longest break but I think you you know, you have to respect and cherish the, the time when you are working. Uh, but there's no doubt there's been some challenges uh, in front of us, you know, from coming in and having or hoping that we would have been able to maybe change a few more players and bring more in than, than we did. Um, to some, you know, injuries, which every team has them, don't get me wrong, but some like big injuries and it felt like we'd gone through a small spell of, of decisions going against us and things like that. Um, so yeah, it's been it's not been easy, but like I said, delighted to be back at the football club and and delighted that we've managed to maintain his League One status. And what about today's performance and result here at the Valley? Thought we were excellent first half. You know, Charlton changed formation, uh, tried something a bit different, but because of how we started the game, I think it was after we'd gone ahead they they decided to change back to a more familiar one. Um, Disappointed with the call second half because spend so much time at half time, whether it's myself, Doigi, the players themselves talking about uh, starting the second half well and properly. And look, it, it can happen. It, it was a, a small mistake that, that was punished, uh, but then that gave them a lift, and, and obviously they were better second half as I knew they would be. Uh, but we still had some moments, uh, and I don't think Marco again has had too many shots to, to really save. Uh, albeit maybe a bit of pressure, you know, a lot of sort of balls in, in towards his box, but I think we definitely deserved uh, that point today. And a word for Dan Udo, he's scored some really important goals, hasn't he, f since you came back to the club, another one today? Yeah, and, you know, not just Dan, ev everyone put in a real shift. You know, I, I'm, I can imagine that some people were thinking, make some changes, and I, part of me did want to. Part of me sometimes it's difficult to get into the flow of the game and looking at the sort of options available to us. I think you know we needed, or I wanted to try and keep with the same players. You know, like an Elliot Bennett and Carl Winchester. I think you could tell they were out on the feet, but their experience is is crucial. They kept digging in. They kept finding that little bit extra. I could see them speaking to the teammates, trying to keep people right and ready. Um, and like I said, we, we managed to get that point. And what about those scenes at the end, yourself and the coaching staff, the, all the players going over to the uh, away end, nearly 800, not far off, 800 town fans here yeah. today. You've got to enjoy those moments, haven't you, Paul? Of course. I mean, I, I was trying to get the players to do their bit, but they seem more keen on me doing it, probably looking an idiot. Um, some interesting outfits that we saw on the way into the game from some of the Shrewsbury fans. Um, and again, delighted because ultimately, whatever we think, you know, it's about the supporters, and they've travelled up and down the country and supported, and they feel the pain and the heartache at times. But they've had a decent day today, I'm sure, and enjoyable today. Uh, uh, 
enjoyable day and I'm sure there'll be uh, a few drinks maybe already consumed and maybe a few more on, on the way home as well. You must enjoy coming to the Valley as well. You've had some good times here, haven't you, over, over the years, obviously the playoffs. <laughs> uh, six years ago, maybe whether I should be saying this in front of a room full of uh, reporters who follow uh, Charlton Athletic, but you've had some good times here, haven't you? And, and again, it's a different sort of emotion today. Something about this place, so you seem to enjoy coming here. Uh, I have done, um, but as you say, I'm not, I'm not going to turn into your bodyguard now, Stuart, so you might have to make a <laughs> swift exit. But no, look, it is. But as I said before the game, it's totally different circumstances today. You know, a, a few people still involved, obviously, that, that back then, but in the main whole new group of players, a lot of new staff and um, that you know we wanted to you you want to try and create your own sort of memories and I've just said I don't want people to get the wrong idea about as kind of over celebrating staying up or anything like that. But that's the position that that we find ourselves in. And I think where we sort of rank in terms of finances, etc we we've we, we're towards the bottom end. Let's be, let's be honest about that. So it is an achievement, and it's it's a bit strange because it feels like y you should celebrate, but like I said, not too much. Because, but it is it's still very good for a, a club like ours to have maintained the status for another season. I said the issue now I've got. I'm already starting to think of next season and the challenge that that will face because of again the teams coming up, the teams coming down. I'm not sure there'll be the same problems for some that do uh, drop into the into the league and the ones coming up, the three that already have and potentially another one, we know are the, the financial backing that they get. So it's going to be even more difficult. Well done. On the securing uh, safety into the season in, in League One, thanks for your time, Paul. Thanks, Stuart. Thank you.